Hi all, Heba here. So uh, if you're out there grinding the uh, epic modifications that are available in the game now, uh, then I wish you luck, because so am I. Uh, but I think these epic modifications are just the tip of the iceberg, just the beginning of something completely new in uh, World of Warships Legends. I hope and believe that uh, epic modifications is just the beginning of actually adding lots of different uh, modifications into the game and of course different levels of modifications. Because what we have now is base modifications and then the new epic modifications. But what's stopping us from having legendary modifications, for example, so following like down the path of Diablo and Borderlands where, you know, uh, all equipment has different levels. And uh, if that's not enough, you could also have rare modifications, for example. So uh, so uh, rare modifications uh, would be easier to obtain than, for example, the legendary modifications uh, or the epic modifications that we have in the game now. So rare modifications could, for example, be in ranked if you you know place in the top 50%, but if you place in the top 1%, you will be... Uh, awarded a legendary modification instead for example so uh you know it's not going to be easy to get the big and um, powerful modifications right so uh, if we look more into the diablo world we could also go as far as have set modifications where you know you have a gunfire control uh that once you combine it with other modifications uh, of the same set or green color in this case here for example the steering gears uh depending on how many modifications in that set you have, the better the bonus you get because it's timed by the amount of set items you have. So uh, another thing I would really like is something I've called veteran modifications in this video here. And really, this is just something I made up, but uh, you know, take the propulsion mod as an example, you get 50% faster uh, acceleration, uh, but then, my idea here is that uh, you use the elite XP on a ship because these modifications will only work on a specific ship. Uh, so once you have 100,000 elite XP, uh, you will more or less, you know, like fill out a box and your uh, bonus will go up. So you need to earn a lot of XP to reach the highest level, which is, of course, a lot higher. So uh, this is one way of, you know, using the elite XP in the game. So every time, for example, 100,000 XP, uh, you will tick a box and uh, your bonus will go up by, for example, 2%, like in this one here. So uh, the more you play this specific ship, like the more veteran you are, um, the better your modifications become. And this is just one modification. We could do this for all modifications on the ship, for example. Like this would be an incentive for players who've played the game a long, long time, like myself and most of the like other people who've played it for years and years. Uh, to have something new to grind for, to uh, especially improve the ships that they really, really love. And uh, of course, like I always say, it will also help the game with a lot of like diverse builds and you never really know what to expect. Next up, you could also have unique modifications. So uh, as the name says, these are unique. There's only one of them in the whole game and they are, for example, given to the player that places number one on a leaderboard in some sort of whatever discipline that uh, sometimes we had that in Legends. But, uh, you know, the rewards are more along like uh, commander items and stuff like that. Now, this one, a unique modification, perhaps with a unique name uh, that no one else in the game has. I mean, that would be something to really grind for, especially if uh, the bonus is really good as well. Like here, I've, I've doubled it. I actually more than doubled it, I think. But anyway, that's not the point. The point that is that it's unique and uh, it's something else for old players to grind for. Another option that I was thinking about, you could also have slotted modifications, which if you play Diablo, is pretty much like the same as having a sword with a few uh, sockets where you can put items in. And if, in this example, I've just used, you know, gems like we usually get, but it could be anything, like so probably something a little bit more naval themed, I guess, but I couldn't really think of anything. So for example, a blue gem, green gem, red gem, and again, you'll earn these in difficult tasks in the game. It could be ranked, it could be arena, it could be standard, it could be clans when we get that. And uh, once you earn your gem, you can slot them into a modific, like slotted modifications if you have a slotted modification that is because that's not of course uh, a given now of course each gem and each color of gem or each type of gem whatever we go with could have different attributes and not just a percentage you know but uh, this would create 
very, very diverse builds and uh, it would be very healthy for the game, I think. So uh, these are my thoughts on how Wargaming could improve the epic modifications which we have in the game so far and they're great. Uh, I don't really think that, you know, the bonus is that epic, let's be honest here, but I think uh, I think they're going to be adjusted as we go along. I also think that uh, in the future, the epic modifications shouldn't require you to, for example, in this case here, uh, hit the enemies 50 times with your shells. I don't think that's necessary. Um, I think it should be just an extra bonus uh, onto these, uh, the base modifications. So when you put it on your ship, you get it as soon as the battle starts. Um, or it could be a mix. And also all the modifications I've gone through in this video here, they could be combined. You know, you could have veteran slotted uh, unique modifications, for example. And uh, like the amount of diversity this would create in the game is, uh, yeah, pretty much beyond me. And uh, perhaps a little bit too much because Wargaming at least likes to keep everything uh, nicely calculated. But uh, I think it would be a real plus. So uh, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So drop a comment uh, on the video and uh, we'll get a little discussion going on how these uh, modifications here could be improved because this is just my idea of uh, a way to improve it, but I'm sure you guys have a million other ideas. So uh, don't hold back. All right, hope you enjoyed it and see you out there.